Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at Google Spreadsheets. Google Spreadsheets are web-based spreadsheets. They're an alternative to using Numbers or Excel. If you don't have either of those two programs and you only need to make a new spreadsheet every once in a while, you may want to look into using Google Spreadsheets. You can find Google Spreadsheets by going to drive.google.com. Google Drive is what took over for Google Docs. They're the same. They just changed the name. And you need a Google account to be able to use it. Of course, if you have a Gmail account, that's a Google account. So most people have this. So you go to drive.google.com and once you're in here, you'll see all your documents and you'll see a create button. Click the create button and you want to go to spreadsheet and create a new spreadsheet. Now these Google Drive spreadsheets look just like any other spreadsheet. You've got cells, you've got rows, you've got columns. You can click on a cell, you can enter a number in. You can enter another number in and you can do formulas by starting with an equal sign and then either using cell names like A1 plus or you can actually click to get the cell name. I'll click on B1 there and you get the results. And the results update in real time. So I can change a number here and you can see it change there in the formula result. You have lots of different formatting options here. You know, some basic ones like you can make the cell bold for instance. You can change its font size if you want. Uh, text colors, um, styles, uh, fill colors, borders, all sorts of things. And you can insert comments. There's some charting ability. Uh, there's filtering. There's all sorts of different things you can do. You can copy and paste between cells and uh, do just all the basic stuff. Uh, you can see uh, in the menu items here how to insert things, how to change things, uh, how to sort. A lot of different things that you can do. And one of the cool things is you don't need to uh, save it at all. Just like uh, with Mac stuff. You can basically just close that tab there and you can see there's the untitled spreadsheet. I can go into it here. Uh, it'll reopen again. I can make a change. Let's change this to uh, to there and I can close the window there and if I go to untitled spreadsheet again you can see it, it remembered. So it's basically saving on the fly. Let's open a spreadsheet I had created previously here which is some basics and let's see how we can do some things. I've got some um, headings here so let's go and uh, make those bold. Uh, we can set the uh, the fill color to something so we can see those as headings. Uh, we can change styles as well. So we can ch uh, change that, uh, select this or select the entire column here. And uh, let's set it to be a dollars right there. And then we can create formulas like that. See the cost, the total inventory for this item. And we can copy and then I can select several cells and paste. And then we can format that cell as dollars as well. If I wanted to make a chart, I could select some uh, some area in here and just tap the chart button, and it'll try to guess what kind of chart I want. That's not exactly uh, what I want there because I don't want the price in there. So I'll just do some manual editing here to just do rows A and C, and you can see then it gives me what I want there. So there's a lot of different things you can do to play around with it. Here I can do the pie chart some uh, interesting things I can hit insert and then now this is actually something here that is in the spreadsheet that I can move around and do different things with. You do lots of different functions as well. For instance I can do a sum and uh, select a range here and then get a sum there that updates. Uh, there's a ton of different functions. You can see some of them here, some of the more common ones, but you can also go and take a look at all the documentation and see there are actually a ton of different functions, pretty much all the standard ones for spreadsheets. As you can imagine, this is a pretty deep tool. Just about any spreadsheet is. There's a ton of different things that you can do and a ton of different functionality. So if you are into spreadsheets, you might want to go and check it out. And if you're not into spreadsheets but just need to manipulate some numbers every once in a while, then using Google Drive for this could be a cheaper way than buying a spreadsheet program. Also, of course, another advantage of using Google Drive is the sharing ability. You can create a spreadsheet and share it amongst other people so uh, you can collaborate on some work or just share your results. I hope you found this useful. Until next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. If you found this video useful, there's one thing you can do for me in return. It won't cost you anything and it will just take you a few seconds. If you're not already at MacMost.com, go there and then look for the video you just watched. And go to that page. Underneath the video you'll see a bunch of different links that help you share the video with friends. Take a second to 
click the like button. This sends a signal out to the rest of the internet that the video is worth watching. Thanks.